Apfel Doctor Germany, my name is Ben. Good morning and welcome to the Micro Soul Ring Show. And today, on this beautiful Monday, after a weekend full of teaching, teaching and teaching, it was just great. Greetings to all the students, um, they did a great job at the Bottle Library Pascal School Germany and today in the morning we just do a data rescue job on an iPhone 6 because it was laying in the sea or in the water, I don't know, it just came in as water damage, please rescue my data. Okay, we will do, it's not a problem at all. You see, nobody is here except uh, Daniela, she's sitting on the top and um, working, she was at Thailand. Um, yeah, she she uh, flo she flew flew fl flight. Keine Ahnung. <laughs> she, she was uh, she she had a long flight. I would never fly so long, never. But okay. Today in the morning we just have a look for that water damaged iPhone six. I think that the rest of the crew will arrive soon. They all work the whole weekend too. So. Let's see what we got here. We check out the battery and just see for short at first. Yeah, we got VCC main. Directly 5 amps if I connect the battery FPC or the battery to the FPC. Power, I power box. And now let's have a look how hard this water damage is. Often when you see VCC main, oh, okay, it's fast money, just one cap, knock it off, get the data and uh, you're ready. But sometimes you uh, remove one short and after that you got the next three. So let's have a look if this is a fast job or not. getting out the sim tray and the screws and then we just have a look for the for the board for the corrosion on the board and how it looks like so perhaps it's just a five minutes video for today in the morning then we will do another one because the next I got on my table is an iPhone X which was already tried for repair after water damage. We don't do repair, we just do the rescue job on that. Perhaps we have to swap the board, I don't know uh, what they did before because I didn't have a look until now. Let's see. And the first thing I see with my eyes is a corroded cap on this iPhone 6. So this would be really, really, really fast job and I didn't expect that. But okay. So I could directly knock off this cap and I'm sure the device will work after that. But I want to see if there is more corrosion. And yes, here is some more. That's nice. Not only one cap, but not a big thing at all, I think. So let's just take an image. Then we just take our thermal cam and having a look, which is getting hot here. the other side just turning on and now ah oh, nice it's not the typical cap it's a cap next over the big audio I see okay I had expected the cap next beside to the Wi-Fi module but here we see it's another one so let's have a look Cap under the underfill, under the under under the overfill. 
So we need just a little bit of hot air and a little bit of preheat, not much. And every time when we had bottle and repair school, a lot of uh, a lot of my things are laying next beside. So I think today I have to to walk about 30 times next beside to the bottle and repair school and get some shit there. But at the moment I have all. It looks like I have all. Okay, let's see. We just get out the overflow here. And that's crazy now because this these caps are looking good from the optic. But the short is there. Let's see again with removed removed overflow. And you see that? It's the small cap here. One of the small caps. You see directly starting on that zero two zero one cap. So just another picture. More time for taking pictures than for the repair. Now let's just take a knife and knock this cap off because it's just a daily rescue job. It's not a repair. So I can knock off the cap and just check if the phone likes to boot again or if we got another shot after that. So the shot has been gone. But I think because of the corrosion we could have some other problems and that would be nice because not only one cap knocking off and goodbye. Let's see if we have a boot again. Yeah, it looks like a boot. Okay, only one cap, perhaps. Let's see if the device wants to boot again. So I know we have some corrosion on the other side, but that's not a, not a big thing because we just need we just need the data. So let's see. Do we get an image or not? No, we don't get an image and that's nice because I think we have a boot but we have no image on an iPhone 6 and this is surely related to 5v7. So let's have a look for the other side. What do we see? Oh, my microscope cam said goodbye. And here it is again. Okay. What about this side? Do you see that? Looks nice. So we just need to clean a small bit here. And now let's check the pins for the backlight. Looks good. And now let's check for backlight. This is good. This is good too. Okay, so backlight should be good. Let's check for 537. So we just start ZXW 
and open the iPhone 6. I give ZXW to you. Okay. So LCD connector. Here we got it. One we eight. Having a look if we got a short here. No. Five V seven. No, no short. Next one. No short. Let's check for diet mode. And here we are open line. And that's not correct. So let's having a look for the filters here. I just want to get off the overflow and I want to see first I want to clean here. First I want to clean here, then I want to get out the shield on the front side for seeing if there is any corrosion on chestnut. See no corrosion on chestnut, that's good. But we wear open line on pin 2 here. So let's have a look for filter. Filter is good. No short to crown, that's fine. But do you see that corrosion under the big audio I see? We just take it out for preventing any problems. It will boot without that. Okay, on the top here you see corrosion points. Here. Now we got it. No more corrosion here. Great. Okay. Let's see for a boot with image.
and boom we are back to life again we have image we have backlight perhaps just some corrosion on the connector and um, perhaps the corrosion under the audio I see um, can accurate things like that too so I just checked um, for the pin too because it was open line but I'm working with the peak tech, not with the fluke so perhaps because normally we get about 1400 uh, millivolts in diet mode and perhaps um, the peak tech showed us open line because it's near to open line and um, normally I only work with the fluke 116 but um, yeah, that's a fast job. 15 minutes data rescue on an iPhone 6 after water damage. Um, so we had uh, a short on VCC main, small cap. Next on the top to the audio IC. To the big audio IC, we took out the audio IC because of corrosion. And um, yeah, that was all. The phone is working again. If you want to learn things like that, you can do that easily on the bottle of Repair School Germany. And if you are working at a smartphone repair industry, smartphone and tablets, you can join our Facebook group, but please answer the questions. Otherwise, you won't be accepted. I'm out. We see us with the next video. Boom! Back to life again. Here's Ben.